What's up all you awesome people, welcome back to the channel. Today it's about time we talk about the Nokia X6. Right, let's get it from the shelf. And here it is. So, let's look on the table. So here's the phone. So, on this side it has stereo speakers. On this little door, you may think it's for the memory card, but actually it's for the SIM card, which we will install in a few seconds. On the bottom here, we have the microphone. On this side, we have the camera button, volume up and down button, screen lock sliding button. On the top, we have a micro USB port covered of course, an audio jack, the charging port and the power button. On the back, well we have the big battery cover, the main camera which is a 5 megapixel with card size optics, dual flash LEDs. On the front, here we have the front facing camera, the earpiece, the light sensor, this is the LED indicator. The touch screen, which is made out of glass on this one. This is the media button to answer, reject the call and the menu button. To open the battery cover, just pull this down here. On the battery cover, you have the instructions on how to install and remove the SIM card. To remove it, just push this slide to the side and it pushes the SIM card out. And here is where you put the strap. This is how you should put it in, like this. Might not be the most wise words I said, but okay. Now we can close the side. It uses the BL5J battery. It goes in like this. Sorry, my battery is a bit swollen and it might push on the battery cover. Now, let's start it up, pressing the power button. Hmm. Let's leave it a moment for it to start up. See, this is the media button. You press it, it opens this. Music player, photo viewer, video viewer, sharing and internet. This phone was announced in September 2009 and released in December 2009. The screen is a 3.2 inch display with the Corning Gorilla Glass. I guess it's glass. Uh, it originally comes with Symbian 9.4 Series 60. And the CPU is uh, ARM 11, I believe, 434 MHz. 16 gigs internal storage and 128 MB of RAM. 5 megapixel camera. And uh, the video. Quality is 480p, uh, 30 fps. It also has wireless, Bluetooth, GPS, radio, accelerometer, proximity sensor, all of that. Maybe here. Connectivity, network, operator, web manual. Activated general. Take, let's take the phone out of offline mode. You see the bars here, there we have them. You 
you can slide here and lock the screen like so slide again and unlock it or if it's locked you can press the button and it, it should say swipe to unlock something like this I've uh, tried to install some applications on it I found uh, for the internet also Opera Mini another message If you press on top here where the battery is, you'll see the clock and connectivity options. I believe I uh, connected already to my wireless. Yeah, it's it's, con it's uh, first on top there. Let's let's play some music. When this ah uh -huh, it disappeared. I'll show you. Usually, for example, if I press once, it only selects the button. If I double press it, then it enters it. Pretty loud. Ooh. I can feel the bass. If you if you keep pressing the menu button, the middle one here, it will um, open like a test manager with the active uh, apps. Let's go to music player and uh, stop it. Where, where was it? Wait, options. Go to now playing. This uh, phone sounds pretty good. Not gonna lie. Well, the maps won't work anymore, obviously, on this one, maybe find something working. WhatsApp also doesn't work anymore. See this little red dot here, when that's there, it means that it's loading and be patient. Right, let's go to camera. I press the app camera button and you can open it, or it has the camera button here. Keep pressing it and it starts the app as well. Look at my face. Hmm. Press it slightly to uh, out of focus and press it, so press it harder to take the picture. And it's processed. It doesn't have zooming like this, you know, older device. <laughs> Let's go to settings for a bit. So the largest is 5 megapixel, then we go lower. Showing the GPS info, it, the other, in other words, the coordination where you took the picture. Mass storage, it's technically the... Well, the mass storage, the 16 gigs of uh, storage. And the phone, phone memory, it's, uh, it's normal ROM. Here we have the settings for the camera. Let's go to video mode. 
also turn on the light when you record of course need some time to process it maximum 1 hour and 29 minutes I don't like that it wasn't focused when I before I started recording. <laughs> Sorry about my reflection, I don't have a good position to stay while recording. Now let's switch back to image mode now let's try the secondary camera which is this one what's up i know you can see me <laughs> boom oh i can also take videos with it <laughs> now back to the main camera other than that the phone is pretty responsive when you press the buttons It has its standard apps like Real Player, that's classic, OV Suite, Office. Technically, you should be able to read PDFs and stuff like this. Stuff like this. Notes, calculator, maths. It has its file manager. See, phone memory, mass memory, and back up to OV. Oh, and uh, this is Quick Office. Technically, you can uh, read any document. Except. No need for mail. I'm not registering now. You have to register to use those stuff, but I'm not going to register. Here is where your installed apps go. Let's go to Opera which I installed I can all, now I can connect to with the sim but I want to oh come on I can connect now I can connect to the Wi-Fi Let's see. It will keep asking about certificates because it doesn't recognize it and I'll just click accept it. I set the time uh, and date back to 2013 because otherwise I couldn't install the app. Still loading. And now <laughs> it's frozen. Let's force close it so we don't completely freeze the phone. I can't close it, eh? And there we go, it's frozen now. <laughs> because of that opera. Now, because of that uh, faulty app, now the phone is frozen. You can turn it off by completely by holding the power button long. That usually works with also newer devices with Android, actually latest devices as well. The ones that don't have any removable battery. So, still not responsive. It's completely dead. Well. Luckily on these phones you could do this. Simple. Start it again. And rewind. This is one of the advantages. 
on today's phones just hold the power button long and like really long hold and hold and hold and it will uh, eventually turn off even after it's loaded let's wait a few more seconds for it to completely load let's try simple tasks like locking the screen and unlocking it M media button See the screen it's auto adjusting is lightning for where I am. Okay, this works. Play new button. It works. As a music player, camera, phone, messaging, all that stuff it's good. And maybe some games if you can find for it. Other than that, on the internet it will be a bit hard. With Opera it should work, but a normal site, no videos, no YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, there is no more, more app developed for the phones to do that. What I can still show you on this phone, it's how the picture qualities are. So I'll have to take it outside. What? How's outside now? Now it's dark. I have to take it outside tomorrow, and you'll see how it is. So that's my review of the Nokia X6. Again, as a phone, text messaging, uh, taking pictures, videos, uh, normally watching the internet on reading stuff, even maybe Facebook, but laggish, it still works. Still good for that. But uh, unfortunately, there are the apps are not updated for today's uh, internet, unfortunately. So. No YouTube, I tried. Other than that, it works. It's it's a glass display, which is better than having the old um, touch screens with pressure sensor. Also, I like the animations on it when you open and close apps in the menu. And uh, like I showed you, that's what the camera is capable of. Pretty decent, actually, for a 5 megapixel camera from 2009. So, thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this review <laughs> useful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, helps a lot. Maybe subscribe to the channel, that will be a real motivation <laughs> for me and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I wish you a very awesome day, just like yourselves and all the best. Bye bye.